Hi everybody, this is Mama Sue, and today I've got these cute little earrings for you. Um, this, we're going to do one of this one, and then we're also going to do one of this one. Um, we're only going to do the one earring, um, and we're going to match them to these. Um, so I've got everything set up and ready to go right here on this little um, place here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these off and lay them down here for our little, oh, I want to show them to you first. Look how cute that is. These are just such cute earrings. I love these ones. And I like that. I like the pearls too. These are, these are pearls. See there? Two of the, two of a, that's a number three. Where's my sword? There we go. That's a number three. That's a number six. And that's a number three uh, millimeter beads. Then I've got a little piece of chain there. You can make the chain as long as you want to. If you want your earrings longer, you just, you just decide uh, when you're cutting your chain where you want that to be. And um, and then in between, I have these little flower spacer beads. As you know, I use those a lot. And also the uh, ear wire. And then I also did this one. But this one's a little bit different because what I used is spacer bead here. The spacer bead here, these are metal. And then I used a pearl in the middle. But it, it's a nice way to use your pearls. And then I, you know, I have the chain in the middle. It's a little bit longer than the other one. Um, and then the hook. Well, let's get busy and make these easy, easy cheesy earrings. I'm going to put this over here. And I'll put this right here because we'll make this one first. Okay, so all the gold goes on one side, all the silver's on the other. <laughs> okay, so what I have to start with is one of these um, round nose um, pieces of wire. <laughs> I, forget what they're, I always forget what they're called. But that's okay. At least if I show you, at least you know what they are. Okay, and then I'm going to, I have a little piece of elastic that goes in these. I'm going to see how, how long this one is in case you like this here. Um, in case you like this length. Let me get a measuring device. And I will measure that right here. Okay, if I put that up to in an inch, it's uh, three-fourths. Three-fourths inch is how big that chain is. Now what's cool um, is, let me show you how I cut chain. Just to make sure that it's, I don't like to measure. So what I do, well, is this long enough? Well, wait a minute. Got another one in here. Okay, what I do is I take a wire or, or whatever I have handy and I will put it on the wire. Then I'll put the other piece on the wire like, like so. And you see how you notice that one's longer than the other? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cutter and oh, I can't can't show you that very well see how much longer that is well I'm going to hold it up like 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 this and just cut that bottom piece off because I can see I can see how long that is and so I'm just going to cut that bottom 
piece off there. And then I've got the right size. They're exactly the right size now. But that's how I did it. Put those away. I'll use those on something. <laughs> anyway, we start out with our bead with the, with the round ball on the end. I mean our uh, wire that has the round ball on the end. This one here. Then we are going to put one of these spacer beads. See? I'm going to put that on there right now. If I can find the hole. There it is. Then after I put the spacer bead, I mean uh, uh, this metal bead, then I'm going to put a spacer, a flower spacer bead. It's this one here. See there? I'm going to stick that one on there. Where'd it go? Oh, I probably got another one over here. I'll check over here. I normally do have have them. So, oh, here's one. I got it. Oh, that's gold. <laughs> I can't have gold. Because this is a silver one. Okay, now I'm going to put the, the spacer bead on there. Just like that. See? And then I'm going to put the big bead. The six, the six uh, millimeter. And that's where you are right there. That would even make a nice earring at that, looking like that. But I like things really even. And I'm going to put my, my last spacer bead on. Just like that. And then I'm going to put my last metal bead on. The three, three M. You know what? I think that's a four four millimeter. And it looks a little bit bigger than the three millimeter. Um, I think. Yeah, it's a it's a four because this one's the three. I think. Okay, now that we've got it to this point, now we got a um, we're right here right now. So now I've got to make a circle up here at the top. And I want to keep this circle, if you noticed, I kept the circle pretty small. So I'm going to try to make this one just about the same. Now to do that, I put it really close to the edge like this. See there? I put my, my wire, then I just pushed it away from me. And then I turned my, my, I moved my a wire up just a teeny bit. And I came down to wrap it. I didn't go all the way around, so I'm moving my, my pliers. And I'm going to finish going around. Now I want to measure this up to the other one to make sure they're exactly the same size. Because I want my earrings to be the same size. Okay, now right like that. Oh, it looks like I got it first try. Well, that's pretty even. I mean, that's... If you look uh, right where those holes are, that's very, very close, even the size of the hole. And I just was winging it. Okay, now I want to hang on I like to get two of these sometimes. I want to hang on to that little circle right there. Now, I'm going to put it in my other hand. It's easier for me. This is my dominant hand here. Now I'm going to hold on to it tightly. And I'm just going to start, grab this wire and start winding it around. And I want it to build up because I want it to just have some texture there. At least with this earring. I don't always do that. Different ones I do different ways. But that's, you know, that's how you come up with so many different designs is just changing up things as you go. Okay, now I think I've got that on there enough. It looks okay to me. 
So I'm going to cut that little tip off. See that little leftover, I don't know if you can see that, but I have a leftover tip there. Right, oh, you can see it now. Okay, and I'm going to cut that off. Cut that off. Now, I've, I've still got a little place that I can feel right there. So I'm going to come in with this and just kind of go around like in a circle and just kind of this is thin wire on this on this uh, um, ball end wire. Um, so I don't want to mess with it too awful much. And there we go. And there it is next to the other one. So we did pretty good getting that in the right place. Oh, I, I messed up. I have to, I'm, you can't put that, you got to put your, um, your chain in before you close that hole. So I have to cut that hole off and put a chain. <laughs> oh, that's, that's awful when I do that. And I do it so frequently. You know, it's really sad. Now, I'm going to straighten this one out. I like to grab it with this nylon plier sometimes. For the longest time, I didn't use that, that nylon pliers. Now, I love it. Okay, let's cut this off and just transfer the beads over to the other wire. Okay, we put on this, then we put on the, the spacer bead, then the bigger bead, then the spacer bead, and the last metal bead. Now we're going to make our circle again. And I hope it comes out perfect size like the last one. <laughs> I went right here, right on the right on the tip right near the tip and I just push it toward you then I have it then it's like this just bent so I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to stick them in up here top and I'm going to twist that around my pliers now this is this is the point we're at right now now we got to put it back in there and finish going around. And that's where we are. Now let's see if they match up again. Let me get... I'm going to hold this with this. Because I think we'll get a better look at it that way. Okay. If you look at those... Mm hmm. Turn it down toward me. That looks like I got it right on target again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wind this up. And um, make our earrings. So I'm going to start it with my fingers. Because the, the beads uh, kind of help me push the wire around. Because the beads turn as I turn. So if I'm hanging on to that. Now I want to grab the, this because I want that wire to go up a little bit. Let me get up here. I hope you can see that. But I come up here. See I wanted it just to go up a little bit more. Now I think I'll go around one more time. I think that's enough. Okay, I'm going to cut that off, that little piece. And I'm going to squash down that little end. Oh, I did it again. I am so sorry, guys. I'll do it right this time. 
See, I told you, you guys got to yell real loud so that so that I can, uh, maybe I'll hear somebody. <laughs> okay, this time it's going to work. I'm going to do it this time. Oh, my gosh. A metal bead. Well, you'll definitely know what order these go in. The metal bead, spacer bead, the six millimeter bead, spacer bead, and the last metal bead. The reason I chose the metal beads is it matched that pearl so well. Okay, this time we're gonna we are gonna put the chain on this time. I am not going to mess around again. I'll put it up close to the top. Push it down toward you. Pull my pliers up. And twist it around this way. And move it so that I can get all the way around. And there we go. Now I'm going to put it on after I put these together to make sure they're the same size. Okay. They are the right size. Now I'm going to, oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to put the chain on. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'm going to put it on here. And I'm just going to slide it up the chain and snap it in place. See, you can't do that afterwards because these, these don't have little openings in them. These, these, this chain here doesn't have openings. So I can't do it the way I would have liked to have done it, but that's all right. This is a fast earring, so it was fast to redo that. What? Did I do it three times? <laughs> okay. I got to use my other hand. It's just easier for me. My dominant hand has to be on this side. Okay, I'm twisting. Oh, wait, I don't like the way that twist. Oh, what is going on? My wire broke. I can't see. This is the kind of stuff that happens to me, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to get this done. Oh, I can't even believe that. And this is one of the easiest earrings to make. That's what blows me away. Okay, got it off. Okay, we're gonna one more time. Okay. Spacer. I mean metal, spacer, big. Spacer, metal, and let's turn it. Oh gosh, I'm, I hope this comes out this time. Can't believe that. You know, sometimes this is why it takes me a long time to make you up a video. Because little things keep happening and me forgetting to put something where it belongs. That's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to put my, my, my chain on there. And hopefully my wire doesn't break again. <laughs> so, I am so sorry how this came out. It's just I'm too tired to make it again. I mean, I mean to... Um, uh, yeah, start the video over. I'm just, yeah, you know, it's bedtime for me. Okay, now I've got it started, and it looks like it's going right. Oh, maybe three is a charm. Okay, now I'm going to grab the pliers and, and roll it around with the pliers. This is a, a, a when you're using this thin wire, um, you do need to be a little bit more careful with it, but I, I'm just shocked. I've never had them break like that when not just from doing this because it's a soft wire. Okay, I took that off and I let it fly through the air just now, which it's, it's going to end up in my foot. 
You always got to grab those things and not let them come off. I just wanted to catch you up so badly. Okay, we've got it. Hallelujah. We got it. Okay, now I'm going to put this on and we've got a we've got our whole earring made. Then we'll go on to the second well, I'm afraid going on that second one. But I will do it because I already promised you I'd do it. Now, now I put that on uh, that wire and now and I pulled the wire up this way. Never pull it out this way. Always pull it straight up and take it straight back down because you'll um, you can damage the wire. You can break it off. Um, you can break the wire in half. You can, you can do a lot of there you go. Yeah, but um, try to always do them the other way. Okay, there's that pair. Isn't that adorable? I wish you could see the color of those beads. They're, see, ooh, almost, almost. Yeah, these are really pretty beads. I got them from a... Um, my son brought them home to me from a lady who was who went out of business years ago. She went out of business like over 10 years ago. And then she let me have, uh, she said, if your mom will use them, take them. He brought them home to me. My kids are so good to me. And then here's the one we're making now. And I love these beads too. They're, they're really pretty. But these are all pearls here. This one has a... Uh, the size three, the size six, and the size three. And then the it, it's made exactly like this one. So I am going to make sure that chain goes on when it needs to go on. I'm going to put it right there in front of my face. Okay, so we're going to start with a small bead. This holds on your bead. Now, with some... Uh, um, uh, with some of some of the beads have too big a hole and so I can't use these if it's too big a hole um, so then I go with the flathead uh, bead and I just put a, a metal round ball on it so there's always a, another way you can do it or you can wind up a, a little um, twirl and let the bead sit on that okay there's that one now, now, um, now, uh, notice how fast this earring is. I just put one bead on. I mean, <laughs> well, if you cut out all the times I, I messed up. Now, see, I'm putting this on exactly the same as the last earring. These will be really fast earrings for you to make, and, and people love them. So now I've got to twist the top and put the chain on. Okay, I'm grabbing it right there. Very close to the tip. Pushing it away from me. Bringing up my pliers up to the top. Then I'm twisting it back around. Then I'm twisting my pliers a little bit just so I can get all the way around. Now there's, there's where I am. See there? See that hole? That's where I want to be. Now I'm going to measure to this one. I always measure these because they will be not the right size. Now this one, uh, I need to have a bigger top on this one. Because this one's a little bit short. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this wire, pull it up a little bit. Hope I didn't pull it up too much. Okay, let me put it with the other one and see if it's the right size. I'm trying. That looks pretty good there. So now I'm going to put my chain on. I heard you guys yelling. That's awesome. You are all so awesome. Or maybe you were thinking loudly, but I got it. 
Okay, now I'm going to put my pliers right on that round circle and put it in my other hand so that I can get this started going around in circle. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get my, I'm going to get my other pliers. I like these little ones because then you can see what I'm doing. Well, unless I'm out of your camera view. And I happen to do that a lot. I don't mean to. I'm really trying to pay attention to it now. Except I can't, I, I don't know how to get rid of the blur. I mean, I get blur sometimes and I don't know how to deal with that yet. Okay, I am going to cut that off right there. But man, these make great Christmas gifts. Make up a couple different pairs of earrings and or even the same kind of earring like this in two different colors or something. I know my daughter, that every year she asks me, more earrings, more earrings. And I don't mind at all. It makes me feel good that she likes them. And then uh, there is that one with the chain. Thank you for reminding me, everybody. Okay, now I am going to put the hook on. Like I did before, I grab this. I never pull out. You always grab it from the back if it's a store-bought. And you pull it straight up. See how I pulled that straight up? Now you, you, you can see the opening. Can you see the opening? Maybe if I turn a little. Oh, I can't show you. Well, anyway, I'm going to stick the chain on here. Okay, I just stuck the chain on there. Now I just need to close where it's open. Right there. See where it's open? And I'm going to grab it. Oops. I'm going to grab it right here. And I'm going to... Hey, I'm not breaking this earring. I'm going to be real careful, guys. Because I don't want to start over. Okay, I got away without any problems on this one. And there we go. There's our, our other one. Is that pretty? Oh, look how bright those are. And then the other pair. And here's our other pretty pair. I guess there's something to be said for pearls. They really can look nice on an earring. So there you go. That's the two new ones that I made. And um, I will see you in the next video. So you take care and Jesus loves you.